Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I hope you're doing well today. My name is Luqman and welcome to another Quick Tip Unity tutorial. And this time around, I want to show you something really simple, which is how to take a screenshot and give it a unique file name using the system date and time. So that's really useful, very effective way to take uh, screenshots of your game while you're playing it and you can just assign any key and that way you're not trying to you know hit print screen or anything like that and because you're using the date and time as part of the file name you can have as many screenshots as you want you're not overwriting your screenshots and you'll be able to tell when it was that you actually took the screenshot uh, okay so uh, here it is I'll just take this open it up I've just created a script already called take screenshot and I'm just gonna use my uh, mouse click to make that happen so I'm gonna say void check if should take screen shot I'm just gonna say if input dot get mouse button down and it's zero so my left mouse button then what I want to do is to take a screen capture dot capture screenshot and it's going to want a file name now we can give it a file path plus the name so that's exactly what we're going to do we're going to use application dot persistent data path you're going to see where that is in just a moment and now I just need to use the uh, I can't remember if it's a forward slash or a backslash, but I need to do that to separate the folder from the file name, right? Okay, so then plus next thing is system dot date time dot now. And I need to format it into a different format. If you try to use it as it is, what the format it gives you, it's invalid for creating a file name. So you need to reformat that. So I'm just gonna say year, year. So this is how I'm doing it. I'm going to use capital Y's for my year and then let me just use this one I think it's a hyphen maybe anyway so I'm just going to use that uh, minus and then this and then for the months I'm going to use oh it's not capital Y's my mistake it's actually small Y's and it's the months where you have to put capital M's because the small M's represent minutes uh, okay so then let's keep going and then for the days small D's and then I'm going to actually put in the hour as well. Why don't I do that too? Uh, small H's and then put in the uh, minutes, small M's. And let me just correct that right there. And then again, do this and then seconds and then close it off with the quotation marks there. Uh, let me just check how formatted, formatted that. All right. It looks pretty good. And I'm not finished yet. So I'll just close that off and then say just plus and as a string it's dot png because it needs a file extension right uh, and then just close that all out okay now i'm going to copy this copy all of this bit here that i just wrote and i'm going to put in a debug.log so i can see exactly where it is and that it is working and just call this method here check if should take screenshot get rid of the start method don't need that okay good so if I jump back to Unity, okay, it's compiled. Hit play and press my left mouse button in just a moment. Okay, very good, it's working. Let me just do a couple of presses. And now uh, here's the folder. And, oh, oops, I pressed too quickly, so let me see. Oh, no, wait, it's still it's still loading. So I got a couple there. Let me just see if I... Uh, it says I should have taken six, but I think I must have pressed too quick. I can probably go down in smaller increments of time. I mean, honestly, I've never actually clicked that fast to take screenshots. So if I do it something a bit more sensible like that... Okay, now let's go have a look. And yeah, look, it's taking screenshots of the same thing. Now, the screenshot size is going to be exactly whatever your play window size is. So if you make, if you build a game and you're playing it in full screen and then you press the screen capture button, it's gonna be at the full screen of your monitor. So it's whatever your monitor is or whatever that screen space is. So if you're playing it in windowed mode, it's gonna be reduced as per the windowed mode there. It is really useful. I mean, like you can use it for whatever, for your screenshots for using on Steam, or you can use it for thumbnails for you, YouTube videos or whatever you feel like. So anyway, it's a lot better than trying to do print screen and so on. Anyway, thanks for watching. And oh, just before you go, I just meant to let you know as well that uh, you can actually download all these project folders for these quick tips from my website. 
So yeah, my website is just gamer to gamedeveloper.com and under Unity Quick Tips, if we head over there, you'll see that look, uh, I've got a uh, videos for the quick tips and here are the project folders. So if you click them, it'll take you to the Google Drive download and then you just click this icon and you'll be able to download it once it's prepared. And that's pretty much it. So as when, once I've got this video's content ready, uh, you'll see it up there on the website as well with the download project folder button as well. Okay, thanks very much for watching and I hope to talk to you soon. Bye.